Let's talk about a disease that has been around since the beginning of time and affects close to 47 million people in this country alone, arthritis. Evidence of arthritis has been found in Neanderthals, mammals, and prehistoric dinosaurs. Arthritis is probably one of the most perplexing of all diseases. Why? This is Bud Torito, and I would like to welcome you to another edition of the Healthy Corner. So what is arthritis and what can you do to relieve the effects of arthritis? The two most common types of arthritis are osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, and both types cause painful, swollen, or stiff joints caused by underlying conditions of inflammation and degeneration. Even though rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis are two different and distinct inflammatory diseases, they have similar properties, their underlying causes, and some of the body's nutritional conditions. Here are some distinguishing characteristics between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Osteoarthritis, better known as a degenerative joint disease that involves the deterioration of the cartilage, which protects the ends of the bones. The main cause is wear and tear or injury to a joint and the aging process. However, diet and lifestyle play an important part of the body's ability to repair the affected areas and maintain healthy joints. A simple explanation of osteoarthritis. The smooth surface of cartilage starts breaking down, becomes rough, pitted, and irregular. The end result is friction. The ligaments, tendons, and muscles that hold the joints together, start to deteriorate and become weak, and then we end up with stiff, inflamed, and deformed joints. The most common areas of the body affected are the knees, the back, hips, and neck. Osteoarthritis usually starts after the age of 40 and just about everyone over the age of 60. Statistics report that three times as many women versus men have osteoarthritis. Could this be related to hormonal imbalances? Let's take a look at rheumatoid arthritis, or sometimes known as RL. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disorder that is self-attacking. In other words, the body's immune system is overactive, and it improperly recognizes the sonoral membrane as foreign. As a result, cartilage and the tissues surrounding the joints become inflamed. In many instances, the bone surface is damaged because the inflammation in the joints produces enzymes that destroy the surrounding tissue. The end result is scar tissue within the normal spaces and you end up with stiffness, extreme pain, and swelling. The onset of rheumatoid arthritis can be triggered by physical or emotional stress, bacterial infections, and poor nutrition. Agents in conventional approaches in diminishing the effects of arthritis pain are similar for both types because they involve joint pain, swelling, and inflammation. The usual recommendations include non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, or NSAIDs, or analgesics. This approach helps relieve pain, but constant use of these types of medications may have some serious side effects. Possible liver or kidney issues may occur. As with any type of health challenge, arthritis being no exception, always look for underlying causes, digestion and food allergies for starters. Capture Your Health provides some specific considerations or guidelines to modify joint inflammation and swelling. Just click on the page for the arthritis relief recommendations. Also, through the Healthy Community Program, it may be possible to diminish the effects of arthritis. You have options, and when you combine the efforts of Capture Your Health and your total commitment, it is possible to alleviate the pains and discomfort of this age-old disease, arthritis. 
This is Bud Torito for The Healthy Corner, and we want to thank you for sharing your time. Be healthy, and have an awesome day.